This timber trailer is in desperate need for a paint job and that's exactly what we'll be doing in this week's video on crisp sawdust where we explore all things forestry and homesteading. Stay tuned and bear witness to this beautiful transformation and pick up on some valuable tips and tricks that I'll be sharing throughout this video. Here you can see a crack on the mounting for one of the outriggers. This one's actually quite bad and needs to be dealt with ASAP. And here's another crack on the cylinder mounting at the outrigger. And another bad crack on the swing bearing bushing for the main crane mount. All of these cracks will have to be repaired so stay tuned. Alright folks, I'm just looking at this video now while editing and take a look at this welding job I've done here. Keep in mind that I'm still a newbie at this, but what do you think? Am I getting the hang of it or do I need to go back to the drawing board? Like, drop your thoughts in the comments below, I'd really appreciate your feedback and expertise. Thank you. It's a lot of sanding. Prepping for paint is the most tedious. I almost regret starting this. Day four. Three weeks later. <laughs> Seventy five years later.
So I've um, smeared some grease onto the rubber around the rim instead of masking tape and hopefully any spilling of paint I can just pressure wash it off. I used this fluid film stuff. I did that to both sides and I also used a propane torch just to burn off any residue or lint and stuff from the rim. Uh, first I, I cleaned it outside and then I ground off all the rust and loose paint and stuff with the wire wheel and then I rinsed it with some denatured uh, alcohol and then I burned off any lint and residue stuff and it should be good to paint. I know this place looks like a mess that's just how I work. What I'm gonna do now is mix up some paint. So this is the wrong thinner for this paint. This takes number 17 and all I have is number 10. I also have a number 7 for something else. This is for the top coat. I thought it was the same thinner for the base coat, but it's not. That means I can't spray the base coat. I have to either get the right thinner for this paint, or I could, I could just brush on the base coat and then spray on the top coat. Quick heads up, I don't have the correct thinner for this paint, so I'm going to brush on the base coat, which will leave brush marks through the top coat, so if you're looking for a polished finish on your project, just keep that in mind. For my application on a timber trailer, I don't really care, it doesn't really matter, so I'm gonna do it, just thought I'd let you know. I just want it to look nice and rust free. All I care about is the rust protection. So I bought some garbage pencils and I have a roller like a foam roller. I think it's up in the I think it's up in the barn. I'll go see if I can find it. Found it. Stay. 